Good morning, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be working on getting AC and heat installed in the shop. So I picked up one of those 36,000 BTU Mr. Cool DIY units uh, last week and it just showed up. So I'm pretty excited about getting that installed today. So uh, I gotta run to the box store real quick because I grossly underestimated how much concrete it was gonna take in order to pour the slab so we can set the condenser on. So I'm gonna go grab a couple things and then uh, I'll see you back at the shop. If it's not an absolute emergency to come to the box store on a Saturday morning, I highly recommend that you don't. Everybody is here. All right guys, so this is what we're working on today. Like I said before, it's the 36K BTU Mr. Cool DIY unit. This is the fourth generation, so it's supposed to be really, really good on power. Um, so everything that I've read says that it'll do 1,500 square feet, and some places I've read it said that it would do 1,700 square feet. So my shop is 40 by 41, so that's 1,640 square feet. So hopefully this is going to be enough uh, to, to cool this down or at least keep it comfortable in the summertime. Uh, I do have spray foam insulation uh, on the roof and on the walls. And I'm also going to be installing these environmental closeout seals on the outside of these roll-up doors uh, to make sure that I'm minimizing the amount of air exchange uh, in the building. Um, and the last thing that I'll do, of course, is uh, find some sort of radiant barrier insulation that I can put on these, these metal roll-up doors uh, because when the sun is shining right on them, you could feel the heat radiating inside of the building. So definitely have to take care of that. What I'm thinking is we can mount the air handler right here in this space. Uh, I bought some Unistrut. I'm gonna stretch across those two uprights right there, which will give a good solid uh, mounting point for the air handler. I've already punched a hole in the wall here for the disconnect uh, outside. So I'll just run power straight from the box through that rigid out to our disconnect box out here. So this is where the condenser is gonna go and dad's already working on the form so we can get the concrete mixed and poured here in a little bit. All right, we got everything unboxed. And one thing that's really cool about these uh, setups is they come with a full size template, a uh, wall mounting template, which is super helpful. So I'm gonna take some measurements on this so I can cut my Unistrut down and get that installed up there. All right, definitely made some progress here. We punched our hole in the wall right there. We have our support bracket up with our backing plate up. So we're fishing everything through the hole, getting ready to mount that unit up on the wall. And here's a shot of the outside. We have the pass-through installed there and uh, backing plate for the, uh, the cover that's gonna cover it up all the way down so it looks nice and neat. All right, everybody, so it's the next morning. And today we're gonna to finish up this insulation. Let me give you an update real quick on where we are. So on the inside of the building, we have everything kind of back to the way that it was. I uh, finished up the electrical installation here. So installed this new 30 amp breaker, ran my eight gauge wire out, including the ground, uh, out to the exterior disconnect box. And we also got the unit mounted up onto the uh, unit strut up there. So we back up a little bit, like that unit isn't 100% centered in the building. Uh, so as far as airflow goes, like I'm probably gonna have to put some fans up or something in order to move everything around. But we'll kind of see how it does uh, without any, any fans and see if there are any like localized cool spots or hot spots. I have this clamp on ammeter. clamp onto the service here. So with the lights on and the TV on, we're pulling about 8.7 or so amps. So it'll be interesting to see once we get the unit powered up to see what the current draw is on that. These are supposed to be extremely energy efficient. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Just realized that yesterday the wind messed up all my flags. So I need to fix that real fast. Fixed. So on the outside of the building, we got a couple of things done. First, we got the concrete slab poured and so that's set up. 
at least enough to put the unit on hopefully won't be able to drill the anchors in there for probably a couple of weeks uh, but the unit is heavy enough i think that it can just sit there and be fine uh, and the other thing is we got the uh, the cover installed or the the backing plate for all the cover or all the covers so today we have to get the unit situated there hook up the refrigerant lines on both ends get the electrical from the box over to the unit uh and once that's done we can put the covers on and get everything turned on so i almost forgot to mention another thing that i started the other day was getting these environmental seals installed on the doors only got about halfway done but it's really cool these brushes are set at a 45 degree angle off this plate so that they kind of press into the door and fill in in between all the ribs uh, which definitely keeps keeps the uh the dust out and also keeps the air exchange to a minimum so i need to finish screwing those in on both sides and then there's a piece that goes oh I'm dropping my phone there's a piece that goes uh, across the top too that needs to get installed. So we'll take care of that on all the doors today as well. Well, you guessed it, we're on our way back to the box store. Uh, there's a couple odds and ends that I needed to pick up. I mean, has anyone ever been able to go to the box store and get everything that you need in one go? I bet not, I sure haven't. Uh, but first, had to grab one of these guys, Mean Bean. Uh, this is my guilty pleasure. They are terrible for you, but man, it tastes so good. Anyway, let's go let's go grab some stuff. Meet you back at the shop. Alright now I'm working on getting all the electrical connections made up here. Alright, I think we're ready to get this guy set into place. All right, so we have all the lines hooked up now. Uh, the electrical is done. So I just opened the supply valves here to pressurize the line. So now I'm just doing a bubble check just to make sure we don't have any leaks. And so far down here, it looks good. I don't see any bubbles. Check these connections up here. Doesn't look like there's any bubbles up here either, so lines look pretty tight. Next step is to fire up the system and see if everything's working properly. Hey guys, uh, pro tip when you want something to work, make sure you buy fuses for your disconnect switches. <laughs> it took me longer than it should have to uh, check to make sure that there were fuses installed in here. And because of the magic of editing, I'm back for my third trip to the box store and fuses are installed. All right, let's go turn this thing on. All right, so I have it set to 62 degrees and I have it on turbo mode, which turns the fan up all the way to high. I don't know if you can hear that, but if we come over here to the ammeter, it's only pulling about 16 amps. So that's about seven amps right now going full blast so i have my laser thermometer on it right now and this thing is blowing ice cubes and it is already starting to feel awesome inside of the shop of course it's only like 80 degrees outside so probably wouldn't take long like we'll see how it does when it's you know 105 later on this summer but i mean 16 degrees and dropping on the coil right now like this is pretty sweet. All right, so I've gotten everything all cleaned up and buttoned up. Uh, I verified that the system was working as intended. No leaks uh, on the refrigerant side or the electrical side. Uh, so uh, everything is good. Only thing uh, I would do differently so far is... Uh, oh, wait, I still, have to, I still have to snip the drain line right there. So got to do that. But uh, when I ordered this cover kit, I ordered 16 feet. Um, and there's this part right here. Probably should have went with a 25 footer. So maybe I can get an extension piece to kind of 
cover the rest of that up all the way to the condenser to make it look a little bit better. Maybe it'll just stay like that forever. All right, well, let's go inside and uh, check out what the inside looks like. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. So I got these environmental seals on the doors, two, two out of three doors. I still have one to go, but uh, in addition to keeping the dust out and keeping the air exchange to a minimum in, inside the building, they also just make the entryway look a, a little bit more finished, which is pretty cool. One quick way to see how good those seals actually seal up the door is to turn all the lights out and see how much light is coming through. So you can kind of see the difference on the 12 foot doors. The one on the left is sealed up, whereas the one on the right, I haven't put the seals on yet. Um, I still have to do the seals on the bottom, uh, but that is a project for another day. And here's the other 10 foot door that's all sealed up. So definitely making a difference. What I like best about this setup is you can control it all from your phone. So you download this Mr. Cool, like smart temperature or something app and it uh, just hooks up to your Wi-Fi. So right now it's 73 degrees in the garage. My unit is off, so I just hit on. And now the unit is on. And it's cool. All of the controls that uh, you would normally have on the remote, which I have mounted over there, is available on the app. So you can change your modes from cool to hot to uh, dehumidify, you can change your fan speed, uh, you can change the angle uh, of the deflectors, and of course you can change the temperature. Another really cool feature is you could set a schedule. Um, so whenever you're not here, like you're at work, but when you get home from work, you want the shop to be nice and cooled off, you can have a schedule set to where the unit comes on like an hour or so before you get home. So yeah, that's super cool. Would totally recommend uh, getting a setup like this for your shop. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, totally stoked to finally have air conditioning in the shop. Uh, like I said, just in time for summer. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.